Oh I'm so sorry I forgot you children were coming today but anyways. I'm one of General Curran Wallace's soldiers. I will be teaching you about General Curran Wallace. Please quiet down. Shush I see you back there. Well let's begin. Charles Curran Wallace was born on December 31, 1738. He is the eldest son of the first Earl Curran Wallace. Charles went to two colleges Eton College and the University of Cambridge. Later down the road he studied at the Military Academy in Turin, Italy. During the early parts of the Seven Years' War he served for England against Germany. In 1762, two years after becoming elected to the House of Commons he started becoming political. Charles usually picked against things that led to the American Revolution, so it was a big surprise in 1775 when he accepted a military command as a major general. He was a part of the battles of Long Island, New York, and later battles in New Jersey. General George Washington defeated him twice, once at Trenton, New Jersey and once in Princeton, New Jersey. He was also rewarded with a victory at Brandywine Creek, Pennsylvania and then later took over Philadelphia. After he was not pleased with the efforts of two other generals for Britain he tried to resign but it was denied. After trying to resign Charles decided to try and blockade the South. This was approved the south under his control he achieved a great victory over General Haredo Gates at Camden, South Carolina. After a horrible battle in the Guilford Courthouse, North Carolina he was forced to retreat to Virginia. George Washington aided by the French then decided to attack the British where they then made Charles and his men surrender to them. This essentially was the end of the war. After the war was over Curran Wallace returned to Britain. After his good efforts in the war he was appointed a political position in India which was Governor General and Commander in Chief which he rightfully accepted. He replenished the military situation and set the administrative foundation of British rule in India. In 1795, Charles returned to England and joined the cabinet as the Master General Ordnance in 1795. With the Irish starting to rebel in Ireland, Charles was sent there as Viceroy and Commander in Chief. After calming the country he tried getting the Act of Union through the Irish Parliament. After discussing the Treaty of Amiens in 1802 and 1805 he once again was placed in India where he died October 5, 1805. I miss that guy. Well thoughts all I have for you on Charles Curran Wallace. Thank you for listening, now let's dance.